Welcome to Ascending with the Arcturians with your host, Vivian Chauvet. Vivian is an Arcturian hybrid, intergalactic healer, and universal communicator. Join us as we explore an era of quantum consciousness and vibrational shift. Human beings are essence of supreme light expressed as sentient physical life forms. Our unique soul design contains our blueprint that leads us to light body ascension. We are here to help you evolve beyond this third physical dimension, transcend the past, heal soul wounds, integrate life lessons, and embrace the divine matrix. More than a show, it is an experience that invites you to awaken to the truth of your higher self. Are you ready to return to universal oneness? Ascending with the Octurians begins now. Welcome to Ascending with the Octurians with me, your host, Vivian Chauvet. And you are amazing. I just want to let you know that I feel like people are growing and getting back into their power more and more. So we're thrilled to be here for another great episode of Ascending with the Octurians on Transformation Talk Radio. And stay tuned for the next hour because it's going to be absolutely amazing. I was guided to talk about the Schumann resonance frequency today. Oh, yes. I want to talk a bit uh, what is it? I know that many of you have followed the fluctuations, a lot of frequency coming to the planet. We feel it in our body. We feel in our grits. We can feel it in also in our emotional field and our re all natural resonance. So I felt very guided to bring this topic today, the Schumann resonance frequency, look in terms of establishing some semantics. What is it? What does it do? What is the connection to us? What is the connection to the star seeds? And also we're going to do an amazing technique to help to balance ourselves in more resonance with the Schumann frequency. We'll do also an amazing heart technique I'm going to teach you after the break. And I have two really exciting announcements to make. And that's going to be at the end of the show. There's two fantastic conferences coming up. And you will see how they are very strategic in terms of rising the consciousness and meeting with more light. So we have a full hour together. So welcome to the show. Let's ground. Let's take a deep breath. You're here. And we're always thrilled to, as always, walk with you. So let's dive, shall we? What is the Schumann resonance frequency? Just to establish some commonality so we can understand what that means. Um, basically, it's waves. Uh, the waves combine and amplify each other, producing an electromagnetic effect known as the Schumann resonance. So the primary resonance is at a frequency that stands just about eight Earths. So just about that. So it's eight trips around the planet per second. So if you look at the Schumann resonance, uh, the Schumann resonance in the plural form, well, they are a set of spectrum peaks in the extremely low frequency portion of the Earth's electromagnetic field spectrum. So the Schumann resonances are global electromagnetic resonances that generated and excited by lightning discharges in the cavity formed by the Earth's surface and the ion sphere. Oh, that's a lot of energy. And just, just by reading that, I can feel like lots of energy. And the spectrum peaks that we are experiencing in a different spectrum of frequency, whether it's from extremely low to much higher frequency. I know that many, many of you have been feeling the resonance, the movement, and it goes into our own body, uh, in our own marriage and point. So the Schumann... What I like about it is the Schumann uh, resonance is nicknamed the heartbeat of Mother Earth. 
I like that, the heartbeat of the earth. So if the Schumann resonance is called this way, has the heartbeat, well, chances are that it's also representing the heartbeat in our own body. Because we know that as the earth body are evolving, as she has different layers of the body, as her own body is evolving and her grids are evolving, so do we. That means that your body as a conduit, a frequency conduit is also evolving and shifting. And I know we can feel that whether it's sleep, whether it's restlessness in our legs, we can feel like more energy coming in. We feel that we sleep three, four hours and we feel like the next day we're all energized or, or the other way around, depending on where you are at. So there's a lot of movement. So this heartbeat can occur in bands, which match up to the range of scene in our brain waves. So let me rephrase that again. Let me say that again. So the Schumann resonance known or the nickname of it would be the heartbeat of the earth and also can occur in bands, which match up to the ranges seen in our brain waves. So can you imagine all the different bands of frequency coming to the earth, uh, shifting her resonance that also is matching up with ranges has seen in our brain waves. So no matter, no, no wonder why we are feeling so shifting, we're different. We can feel like there's something profoundly transforming into me. I don't know about you, but I can feel that something is shifting tremendously. I personally can share with you that I'm feeling I'm on the verge of a huge transformation, the next level of transformation. Uh, and we can feel it. Many of you express that in private session with me. They feel like people feel like something is very much shifting, like the life path calling and that the purpose or design, the soul design is coming more, refining itself. New gift downloads, connections, hearing tones, feeling shifting in the body, uh, our, even our patterns, sleep patterns, food habits, relationship, communication, everything is adapting and shifting to match that resonance that we are moving into right now. So I found it absolutely fascinating to talk about the Schumann resonant frequency because how much it is affecting us. It's all part of us blossoming into a higher cosmic design, right? A more higher interstellar design than we are. So just to give you more information about this is that there is an atmospheric cavity between the earth and the ion sphere. And apparently every second, just about 1,000 lightning flashes around the globe harmonize these pulses, which travel around this pocket, sending electromagnetic energy signal to all microorganisms. Well, that is very profound. If you imagine every second about 1,000 lightning flashes around the globe to harmonize these pulses um, that travel into the in form of pocket of electromagnetic energy signals. Of course, the entire earth atmosphere, um, the meridian point, the grids, all microorganisms on the planet, that includes you, that includes me, that includes life, animals, trees, and everything, all the pocket of life evolving here, that is really, really profound. So take a moment to feel right now that you are a part of this. Now you are a, a very important aspect of that microorganism expanding, being harmonized, receiving those pulses of energy. And so how much it can also affect your gift, your natural ability to connect opening more your micro tunnel of communication and so forth. So it's important to ground and feel present in your body. Take the time to slow down a little. Take the time to absorb more what you're receiving, whether it's in private session, what you read, 
what you connect, uh, what you're receiving the downloads, also the changes around us. And at a global scale, but also universal scale. So it's important to slow down and, and integrate all of this. Feel that you are a part of this, it's important. Let me take a, a zip of water here. I can feel it in my throat. I can feel my throat chakra shifting, opening, bringing more energy. So these signals that we just talked about, and what they do is that they connect us to the earth magnetic field. And these signals are also thought to be influenced by the mass emotion of the sum of all of the human collective consciousness. Whoa, that means that your emotions are also affecting these signals that are coming through. Uh, it's all interconnecting. Think of it as a bioenergetic field or a biofield, uh, like um, a pond or a very, very complex ecosystem where the sum the accumulation of all the complexity of layers of emotions that everyone on the planet constantly send out. So just like the extreme low frequency of the Schumann resonances, the spectrum that peaks in and out uh, to extreme low to higher through the earth electromagnetic field spectrum, thinking about these and the heartbeat of the earth, uh, the signals that we're going through, that we are constantly receiving those pulses of energy that harmonize our ecosystem. Well, it also affect not only the earth and magnetic field, but also greatly influence, are being influenced by our emotional state. Every time you send an emotion, whether it's fear, stress, anxiety, worried, concern, for example, you're contributing unconsciously to the retraction of those extreme lower frequency. And it has a direct impact even in the Schumann resonance frequency and the earth herself. Of course, it has an impact directly into the entire ecosystem that you are a part of. Even though you are in New Zealand and another person lives in France or clear across England, for example, you're still part of the same ecosystem. That means that you are affecting one another even from across the world. That is really powerful. And why are we sharing that with you right now? Is to, to help you to get back into your empowerment, to step into the embodiment of your power and claim that I am a divine essence of light. My thoughts, my emotions, all the energy that I constantly generate matters, affect others and all evolving life on this planet. This is why the, with the Arcturians, we are very prone as encouraging you to watch the quality of your thought forms. Thought forms combined with strong emotion energy or emotional field, it create raw power that really, as we're just seeing right now, and the signals coming from the Schumann resonance frequencies combine with the earth magnetic field plus the energy that we are contributing as powerful co-creator create a complete all different level of resonance and frequencies. So this is really empowering and this is the goal. Our show is always dedicated to help you better understand aspect of you and also your interconnection with everything, all aspect of life. Uh, what you do in your yard affect the entire neighborhood and so forth. So human are tuned naturally to the vibration of the earth. Uh, human beings vibrate and the frequency that they, that human being emit ranges from five to 10 Earths. So we are definitely in the same range as the earth herself, which the earth frequency has been calculated to about 7.8 Earths frequency. So 7.8 Earths, that's the Earth frequency as it is known today 
and also known as the Schumann resonance. So we are emitting as human being five to 10 Hertz. You can tell that we are within the, ra the range, the, within the range of the earth frequency. So what does it tell us? They tell us how much we are in synchronization with the earth. So that means you, uh, star seed, those who come from other interstellar groups, other, other system, planetary system, other galaxies, that feel that you don't belong here. Well, guess what? You are in harmony with the earth. So you understand that you may not be of this world. You are in the world for a great purpose. At the same time, you are in resonance with the earth, the celestial conscious being that we call a planet. And that changes everything. That changes, that helps you to change your perspective of your role, but you come here, the quality of your energy. What is it that you're focusing on? Are you contributing to the light to elevate those frequency for everyone, including a celestial body that we call a planet, a sentient life form, just like you, just in a different way. Yeah, we all part of the one, remember that. We all part of the divine. So we are part of the natural earth frequency. And so what you bring, you contribute to bring in more light, higher frequency, higher thoughts higher co-creation that manifests. I take a deep breath. We'll take a short break here on Ascending with the Octarians on Transformation Talk Radio. Stay with us. When we come back from the break, we'll talk a little bit more about the human resonance and we'll do a, a very active visual technique to help you naturally harmonize yourself with the frequency. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. You are listening to Ascending with the Arcturian with me, your host, Vivian Chauvet. We're going to now continue uh, talking about the Schumann resonance frequency. Before the break, we talked about the establishing of what it means and how profoundly it affects us and your role to it. What, what role can you play to increase the quality of it and the harmonization of the frequency? We talked about that human beings vibrate uh, just about at the frequency, the, the frequency range between five to 10 Hertz and the earth frequency, it's about 7.8 Hertz. So we're truly in resonance with the earth. This is why nature is so healing to people because we are in a harmonization within the frequency range that we are emitting. And also it nurture and support one another. Now that's very big. I know that many, many people really truly relate to nature. Uh, trees, the consciousness, the roots. They live in complete community collective. They are very collective beings. They can feel the community. When one tree is taking down, they can feel that one of their brothers and sisters or counterpart is missing. And so the energy of that tree is being redistributed to help the, co the collective. So trees are wise beings. It's just in a different form. So, <laughs> sorry. So this is helping you to understand your role and also how you can contribute to be more in sync with nature, the earth, elementals, yourself, and also your own elemental bodies and your own frequency. So nature being very healing to us because it is at the frequency of the earth, it also helps, it also helps nature helps us to boost your body, natural ability to heal and regulate itself. So the more you are at peace with being on this planet, uh, be at peace that you are here on this earth for great purposes on the soul design, knowing that you are emitting same kind of frequency that is very much within the range of the planet. If you're higher, it helps the planet to go higher. 
So that means that it also harmonized nature around you and in, in sync, in return, it brings that energy back to your body to naturally boost your body natural ability to heal and balance itself. So I know that right now, there's a lot of talk about the Schumann resonance frequency. Uh, is it increasing? And there's a lot of things that is shifting, it's increasing. So let's take a look at that. Uh, everything from our brain waves and biorhythms to our states of consciousness, everything is directly correlated to the earth's frequencies. Everything is matching, everything is in symbiotic connection. So the Schumann resonance has been steady so far as for according to studies, according to research, according to observation that the Schumann resonance has been steady at a 7.83 Earths until three years ago. Uh, and it started to begin to accelerate. Uh, that's why, yes, it is accelerating. It's, it is increasing. And apparently right now it's ranging easily between 15 to 25 Earths levels. So imagine going from a steady 7.83 to 15, between 15 and 25 Earths levels. That's a big increase. So the earth is rapidly shifting her vibration. She is shifting, she increasing in consciousness. We know that, don't we? We can feel it in our being. You can feel it in your heart. You can feel it in your body. So yes, it is. So what do we do with that? Uh, what do we do with this increase? Well, it's all about intention. It's all about your willingness and adaptability to change just to feel like a bell, feel like your body is resonating like a bell and you're allowing each tones, each level of wave of frequency to harmonize your entire internal ecosystem. All the organs, cells, functions, system, whether it's the nervous system, the lymphatic system, harmonizing all the internal function, your immune system, uh, your cardio system, uh, your heart energy, the heartbeat within you, all aspects of you. And not just physically, but also your bioenergy field, you know, your bodies of light, moving into your golden web of light, allowing yourself to adjust to the pulse of this increase in frequency. And to feel that you are shifting, we are shifting dimensionally, we're moving to higher spatial time. And what does it mean? It means that we are also starting to decrease, moving away from that three-dimensional linear time construct and moving into more universal rhythm, universal time, where everything is much more synchronized with you at the soul level, uh, with your your rhythm and so forth so let's do an exercise a very conscious one always easy and yet potent and effective how to balance yourself harmonize yourself with the increasing of the schumann resonance and the earth vibrational state i remember that your vibratory state also dictate at what level you are vibrating I mean, it changes your consciousness. It affects your perspective. It affects also your relationships of all kind, including to yourself, your higher self, opening the gateways of communication to the solar realms, your cosmic groups, your interstellar families, how you perceive yourself in space and time right here, right now, and especially letting go, deeply letting go of all archetypal patterns based in the 3D dimension, based in a very old matrix reality, very constrictive, uh, based on lack, scarcity, fear, like life is made of a certain pattern. And if you don't work for 40 years, there's no glorifying energy behind it. Titles, diplomas, and, and also all the labels that we put on ourselves based on core value transmitted over from ancestral lineage, ancestral lineage, 
generational lineage on what time you came back on the planet and you're back from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 2000, or even back in the 30s. So that also had an impact on you in terms of how you have evolved and so forth. So there's a lot of shifting going on. So let it embrace those changes with divine ease and divine grace, right? All right, let's do this. It's what we call an active visualization. So that means we, we open up more the theta state, a part of the brain, uh, to bring this active visualization, imagination, to really be present, to see, feel, and be very active with that. And I know some people will say, well, I, my abilities are others. I have a hard time seeing, and that's fine. Imagine, feel, visualize what it looks like, what it would look like to you. Does that help? Yes, of course. Beautiful. So let's get you in position. What it means, make yourself comfortable. Hmm? Feet on the ground, feel the earth underneath your feet. Activate the sole of your feet chakras. Uh, we have very important chakras on our feet. With your deep breath, if you would go ahead and close your eyes, perfect. And with your eyes closed, let's just take a few deep breaths. Let us breathe. Let the sacred life force energy flowing through you. Just feel that you, your body becomes a river of pure light. Let everything flow gracefully. Allow your mind also to follow the rhythm of your breath, going deeper and slower, clearing the day's events, clearing also any extra of thoughts, distraction. Keep breathing and feel the rhythm of your breath like watching a beautiful waterfall let everything flow to your spine, into your entire chakra network. Let energy flow through your mind, cleansing your mind. It's so refreshing. Let the energy flow to your heart, releasing any lower emotional state that may not even belong to you. Let it flow. Release all that you may have absorbed from others, visible and non-visible, known and unknown. Let everything flow back to light. And as you're allowing the energy flowing to your spine, let it flow all the way down to your pelvic floor, down to your legs, past your knees, and all the way past your feet and see the energy going deep into the core of the earth, uh, Mother Gaia, Hera. And feel her frequency, feel her vibration. And that vibration mirrors back into your own body as a very harmonic pulse. You are harmonizing yourself with the rhythm of the earth along with all the changes including the Schumann resonance frequency. Remember, you are one with the earth frequency and her consciousness. Just keep breathing, feel the rhythm, feel the harmonization inside of you. Feel that you also bring more stabilization, more stable mentally, emotionally, physically and even spiritually, more balanced, aligned, beautiful. And now with your intention, remember you are a powerful being of light. With your intention, state that I am in harmony with the Schumann resonance frequency. I am in complete harmony with the Schumann resonance frequency. 
and I gently allow the shift and the vibration to increase at a comfortable level. I allow also the acceleration of those frequencies running through my internal systems to feel that you are becoming a clear, adaptable conduit of light. It also harmonize your brain hemispheres, brain functions, cognitive faculties, your nervous system, the cardiovascular system, the autonomous nervous system, your immune function in your DNA and the quantum field of your DNA. Expanding into the solo bodies of light and expanding all the way into your golden web. Beautiful. Just feel the energy, the natural pulse of those beautiful frequency and feel the junction between the Schumann resonance frequency and the earth frequency together in oneness, oneness with you as we all are interconnected, you are part of all there is and all there is is a part of you. Keep breathing, releasing deeply, opening more. As the earth accelerate and shift her vibration, I also match this acceleration and also match this higher vibration. Allow the brain waves within me and all of my biorhythms to be aligned in a higher state of consciousness. And I also consciously claim that I am a direct aspect of this change. And I have the power to harmonize, to harmonize the process because I also affect the new resonances the frequency coming to the planet. And I see these resonance of light, this new frequency to be easily redistributed within my physical body, into my subtle body of light, into the collective consciousness and deep into the earth grids and her core. beautiful and feel this harmonization this stabilization coming through very gently giving you more energy increasing vitality higher mental faculties opening your heart energy and an energy field and you feel that you are in oneness in wholeness with yourself and with all there is. Beautiful. Deep breath. Release. You're welcome to open your eyes. That was amazing. I'm going to give you a moment to ground. Stay with us. We'll, we'll go. We'll take a, we'll go on a short break. I, I need to ground myself. We'll go on a short break here. Stay tuned with uh, Ascending with the Octarian. As you align yourself to ground after the technique, when we come back after the break, we'll talk a little bit more about what is expanding what's going on on this earth. We'll do our art focus breathing technique, and we have some exciting news to share with you. So stay with us.
Welcome back to Ascending with the Octurian. We're here on Transformation Talk Radio. Before the break, we did an amazing active technique to harmonize yourself with the acceleration and the shifting of the Schumann resonant frequency, as well as the Earth herself. We know that her frequency, or should I say frequencies, are expanding and accelerating deeply, and we feel that. So what we did before the break really helps to bring more harmony, release stress, ease ascension symptoms, allowing you to restore into a more deeper inner balance, whether it's emotional calmness, more clarity of the mind, uh, opening also your inner clairs for your intuition and inner guidance. And that is very important um, to be in resonance with your own light, allowing more soul essence to come through and opening your own gifts, intuition. Follow your heart. What does your heart say? And when the mind says something, ask what aspect of the mind is this coming from? Is it the lower mind? Then says, okay, thank you for your observation. I'm going to listen to my higher mind and ask what my heart thinks about it. So there's a little quick way to assess the quality of what the thoughts come from and ask if the thoughts or any form of thoughts really insist and ask if those thoughts even belong to you in the first place. Okay, that's another thing is that, especially for the hypersensitive, very empathic people, now we absorb, we are absorbing a lot from others and then the next thing we know is our emotions are intertwined with that of, of others and our thoughts become also intertwined with others. And now how to make a distinction, what's mine, what's not? Ask, reveal the source to me. Does it belong to me? You'll feel variation. If not, release everything back to the divine source for transmutation. All right. So we'll do right now a clearing technique to bring back more resilience, to anchor back, ground you back into yourself, into higher intelligence, opening up also the energy field of your heart. Your heart is essential to your enlightenment, to reaching a state of ascension, increasing your vibrational state, and also living into a higher resonance of light and consciousness. So this technique I learned when I became a coach and mentor with the Art Math Institute. It is called the Heart Focused Breathing Technique. It's very easy and yet does wonders. And I want to share that technique with you right now. Okay. So if you will go, please go back into a comfortable position. If you're sitting down, feet on the ground. Thank you for closing your eyes. Let's just take a few deep breaths. And for those who just did the exercise before the break, you will feel that your body is already attuned to a deeper breath. Just feel your lungs expanding even more. Let everything flow. So we're just going to take a few, a few natural breaths. Uh, just let your natural breathing flow and be present to it. Beautiful. A few more deep breaths. Let it flow. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is on the next breath, see and feel or imagine that you are redirecting your breath through your heart. So you are excelling through, you are excelling out and you are breathing into your heart. So breathe into your heart, exhale through your heart. And feel consciously the flow of your breath be naturally redirected to your heart center. And as you are inhaling, breathe in divine love. And bring you, fill your body, your spirit, your being with love and exhaling light, expand light in and around you. And stay focused on your heart. Let your mind follow the rhythm 
of your breath going through your heart. Beautiful. Continue, breathe into your heart, exhale to your heart. And feel, observe the energy shifting as you're continuing gently breathing in and out to your heart center, releasing stress, anxiety, releasing any lower frequencies, lower thoughts, anything that, that no longer serves, anything that constrict or restraint your growth, just let it go. Let the intelligence and the wisdom of your heart release it with you and for you. Feel this stability. Feel that you're more present, more connected to yourself. And now invite your higher self to come through to be in connections with yourself. Beautiful. Excellent. And now on the next breath, breathe out and then go back to your normal breath. You're welcome to open your eyes. And when you open your eyes, just observe already what changed, what already start to transform, increase in light and calmness, feeling more present, more grounded, inviting more light to come in and flow through you as your own expression. Be reflecting to your ends. Everything that you say, think, feel, emanate, radiate. Beautiful. So you're welcome to do this technique at any given time. You can be sitting in your car in a park position, of course, safely, or sitting in a garden outside. You can be even be standing next to a tree, which you're in on the tree or in proximity of nature and allow yourself, even with your eyes open, you can do this technique. It is available to you at any time. So we want to give you this gift. And really today, uh, more than anything else, the cosmic message for you is allow yourself to be in complete resonance with who you are. Clear shadow aspects. Uh, we talked about it on my podcast with my co-host, Jeff, and we had an amazing guest, James Gillian, came to the podcast, our show called The Infinite Star Connections. And it's one thing that we were all on the same page is talking about clearing our shadow aspects, allowing yourself to be in harmony with the earth and remembering that you are here definitely by soul design. And especially important for those who at the soul level understand that you, you bring this other energy, this cosmic energy. Uh, you bring a star family lineage with you, uh, your cosmic origin with you. And there's so many people on this planet that carry those cosmic energy in their DNA. They know as star seed, as soul emanation coming from other systems that you are bringing also different level of dimensional experiences. And those dimensions may feel sometimes very different, almost like not really fitting with this dimension. That's because we're here to transcend it. We're here to expand beyond what has been implemented here in terms of reality for thousands of years. So when you bring that new perspective of level of dimensionality, experiences, planetary evolutionary cycle, consciousness, frequencies, and so forth, it's all interconnecting. And we'll talk about it later and on the next episode, talking more about the interconnections with the human history, um, the star seeds, the earth origins, our DNA, we need to go back to that because more than ever, there's a need to really reclaim those origins and return to those aspects. That makes sense, right? Remember to keep breathing. 
that you are part of something infinitely bigger and you are very important. Remember that ultimately you answer the call, the call for volunteers that even Dolores Cannon talked about so eloquently in her interviews and in her books and uh, the waves of volunteers. You heard the call. That's because you bring something absolutely unique and it has nothing to do with what you do for a living or what function or what level of diploma do you have or what societal title do you have? It's about who you are. And that is a profound cosmic message for you today. Oh. Beautiful. Already, well, I am thrilled. I have two exciting announcements to make. Um, my husband, Peter Benson and I are gonna be on uh, at two different conferences coming up. We'll be speaking at the first conference called the Phoenix Rising 5D Conference in beautiful Sedona. Uh, Sedona is the, the planetary feminine vortex of the earth and it's the planetary feminine vortex. So Phoenix Rising 5D Conference, July 23rd to the 25th, 2021. You're seeing the image right now. The link will be also posted on the show right now where to get your ticket, reserve your spot right now. There's gonna be amazing lineup of speakers, including myself and my husband, Peter. And we're gonna be in a beautiful Unity Church of Sedona right in the vortex, uh, clearing the sacred feminine, opening the energy, doing amazing gateway work. So join us for the Phoenix Rising 5D Conference, July 23rd to the 25th. That's the first announcement. Now the second one, it's in August. We're going to be in Mount Shasta for an amazing conference called the Hierarchy of Light, uh, coming together. Uh, we're calling on all the hierarchy of light. It's going to be in beautiful, powerful Mount Shasta, August 26th to the 29th. Get your ticket right now. I'm going to be joining a very prestigious lineup of speakers, including Michael Jaco. It's going to be there, Laura Eisenhower, and other amazing speakers. So I am honored to be there and to bring our Octurian Collective. And here's the thing. And you can see also the, um, the image, the poster for the Mount Shasta Hierarchy of Light Conference and also the link where there are all the details, tickets, lodgings, venues, uh, lineup of guests, everything is there. Take advantage of these gatherings, both in the planetary feminine aspect, the vortex in Sedona in July, and then we're continuing our work in Mount Shasta, the planetary masculine vortex. And what do you think we're doing? We are creating powerful grids of connections between the vortex, the planetary point between Sedona and Mount Shasta. This is what the Octarians are sending me <laughs> to these conferences. We're doing major grid work. We are healing and clearing anything that interfere with the purity of those vortex, those points, and to restore a much more pristine balance between the divine masculine and the divine feminine on the planet. Well, that is really powerful. So join us both for Sedona and Manchester. I'm going to be honored to meet you there to share with you. We're going to do a powerful activation. I'm going to do lecture. I'm going to do also ends on energy work. So it's going to be a really powerful time. And I wanted to share those two really exciting announcements on the show right now. Oh, deep breath. So much energy today. I don't know if you feel it, but I can feel like my, my body, my being is really vibrating with high vibration, high energy, very heart energy. And this is conveyed back to you as you convey it back to us and back to everybody else and everything else. Well, join us on the next show. We're going to go deeper with the star seed. I feel very much called to talk about the star seeds, Christ consciousness, the evolution of our DNA, the earth human lineage, talking about how we come together in all of this uh, planetary evolution, um, the movement as new cosmic human being has 
very much divine being and we're going back into our divinity and living in a pristine way of being, connecting, developing other gifts, abilities, returning to our true nature. Well, on behalf of my Octrine Collective and I, it has been an honor to be here for you today and with you. As always, we thank you for tuning in every second and fourth Friday of the month and allowing us to walk with you on this path of ascension. I will see you next time. Namaste. Thank you for listening to Ascending with the Octurians with your host, Vivian Chouvet. It has been our pleasure being your host and interstellar guide. We invite you to embrace your uniqueness and authentic self. For more information on our healing services and to connect with Vivian, please visit our website, infinitehealingfromthestars.com. That's infinitehealingfromthestars.com. See you next time.